The Mood Tracker is back tonight. What is the Mood Tracker? It is simply us taking a temperature of the fan base. And which fan base are we taking a temperature of tonight? None other than the Miami Hurricanes. As I said to start the show, probably the most requested Mood Tracker in America. Any conference, including Georgia, Bama, etc. It's been Miami. And so at long last, here tonight, April 19th, we're talking about Miami. I went on InsideTheU.com earlier today. And I asked them, what do you think? Fill in the blank. My current mood towards Miami football is what? There was no mixed emotion over there. I mean, I think a lot of you on the outside kind of sort of understand how excited they are down in South Florida, but you don't really fully get it. That whole it's a cane thing you wouldn't understand. Boy, it's true with this. They are over the moon excited. And I took all that and I packaged it up. And you know what the mood at Miami is right now? The mood at Miami is our time. A lot of people say that. But there's a specific thing I mean around Miami when I say our time. If you're a Hurricane fan, you know what you've been forced to stomach over the last decade or two. You've been forced to stomach a lot of the administration trying to do it in a way other than the way you want to do it. And so you got on board, like with Randy Shannon, you got on board, but it never felt like there was full synergy and buy-in and everything's moving the same direction, even though it was one of your guys. You had the Al Golden era. You were on board, but it wasn't going the direction you wanted it to go. You had Mark Richt, a former guy that you, you knew. He knew Florida. You knew the state. It, it felt like he dove back in too quickly from Georgia. It didn't take any time off, and it never really clicked down there like you wanted it to. And then you had Manny Diaz come in, and you bought in again. It never really clicked like you wanted it to. My point is, Miami folks have had to stomach a lot of doing it the way they don't want it done. And now, for the first time in some of their lifetimes, if they're like 18 or 20 years old, finally, the administration around Miami is doing it their way. They're doing it the Kane way, and that's why everyone's so excited. Because now they look at it and they say, this is actually our time. Because for the first time in forever, seemingly, the administration buy-in is there. We got one of our guys in the head coaching chair. We got a guy who helped build the culture here. He fully gets the culture. You cut him open, he bleeds the culture of Miami. But also, the boxes that weren't checked previously are checked. No one's questioning whether we're going to have funding for this or full administrative buy-in for that. It's all there. That's why it feels so different. It's not just Mario Cristobal. It's what all came with Mario Cristobal, which I don't think outsiders get quite yet. They're looking at Miami, and they think it's the same old Miami just with a new head coach, and they've already decided for themselves no head coach is going to succeed down there as long as Miami is what they are. That was true, but you're speaking in the present tense. That's the past tense. Total new day at Miami now. So it's not only that they got their guy that they wanted for a long time. They got their guy, and they got their set of conditions. So it's on their terms now. So when I say it's our time, that's why Miami fans feel that way. They feel that way because they got their guy and then they got it on their terms too. The rest of the country is going to scoff at this. And I understand that. And my humble advice to Miami folks is don't worry about it. Um, we all know what history has shown us the rest of the country thinks of you when you're on the right track. So I would actually wear it as a badge of honor the more irritated the rest of the country gets at the talk about Miami. But there's a very specific way that things have to be at Miami for them to achieve uh, their ultimate potential. Hadn't been there for a long time. I mean, it's been a really long time. They joined the ACC in 2004. They've had a double-digit win season once. That's 18 years. There are legal adults roaming the streets of South Florida who have seen one double-digit win season in their lifetimes. That's totally inexcusable on every level. And so the reason there's a lot of excitement down there is because you got 30 or 40-year-old or 50-year-old Miami fans who actually have, once upon a time, seen it done the way it needed to be done. And then you had a lot of people with their hands on the wheel who had no business having their hands on the wheel. And I'm not even talking about coaches. I'm talking about administrative types. I'm talking about people who love to do the window dressing. They love to go to the speaking engagements. They love to throw up the U, but they had no business throwing it up because they had no clue what it meant. People in charge now have checked the boxes that lead you to believe they know what it means. And if they need to get out of the way and let some folks in the room who do know which direction to steer the ship, 
Looks like they're willing to. Looks like they're willing to write the checks. And it looks like the people who are capable of writing those checks have come in the room. It's a different feel. Now, it's going to be feel for a while. You don't just get results right off the bat. There's a reason why the old staff is out and the new staff is in. Uh, but this is not an empty cupboard that they're inheriting either. So they got some players down there. I'll tell you what they do have. They got a quarterback. So if you got a quarterback, you got a shot to do some things right off the bat. Uh, but they've also got recruiting, and they will always have recruiting as long as Mario Cristobal is down there. They've got an understanding of what Miami is supposed to be. And that's not always something that you could – confidently look in the mirror and tell yourself as a Miami Hurricane fan over the last several administrations. One double-digit win season since 04. Uh, my bold prediction for the show tonight, that drought's about to come to an end. So that's the Miami mood tracker.